Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Cat by Nagendra. So in before tutorials, we have seen detailed drafting about particular part designs. So now we are going to see with reference to assembly design. So if I go here with this insert, so I hope all these options in detail I have explained. If you have ever missed, please watch before tutorial videos. So now directly I am going here with this generation. Under generation, here balloon generation will be there. Let's say for example, for suppose we will be having for an assembly design. For assembly design, we will be having many parts. So we need to specify which is the first part, which is the second part, the sequence we need to show. So just you can see here. So this is one shock assembly design. So here n number of parts are there. So we are able to see this is the first part, this is the second part, and this is the third part. Like that sequence of the parts we are able to see here. This we call it as balloons. So here we are going to generate this balloons now. Now already I have opened assembly design here. So if you want to insert isometric view into drafting. So as already we know directly we will go here with this isometric view. By selecting window we will select the part for which we need to insert isometric view. Just if you click somewhere automatically that isometric view will be placed onto the drafting sheet. So here view size is very bigger. So we will go for properties. We will change it to 1 is to 5 like that. Let's check the size and let's set out. So like this we have inserted assembled isometric view into drafting. Now we need to generate this balloons like how they have given first part, second part, third part like that. So for that we can go directly for insert generation balloon generation if i click and if i see if you see here it is showing error that impossible to generate balloons make sure your assembly components are assigned a number it means if you want to generate here automatic balloon generation like this is the first and this is the second first we need to assign the numbers for this particular assembly design so to assign that numbers just we need to go back to assembly design by using window then this is the assembly design while explaining this assembly design options, I have told about one option called here generate numbering option will be there, which is available under product structure tools toolbar. So by using this generate numbering, we are able to assign numbers or alphabets to the assembly design. It will be redirected to drafting and we will be able to see which component is which one. Now let's go here with this generate numbering. For which one we need to generate number for entire product we need to generate by mistake what we will do we will click on generate numbering and if you select only a single part this number will be assigned to only a single individual part but here we wanted for entire assembly design so just after clicking this generate numbering we need to click on product click here here you are able to get either you want integers or letters you want to assign so maximum conditions will go here with this integers. I'll say integers. Let's say OK. Now by using window, I will go back to here drafting. Same process I'll use insert generation balloon generation. Once if I click here, automatically balloons will be generated like this. If you want to increase the size of that balloons by holding control, I am selecting here multiple balloons. So as already we know to increase size we can use this like this we can generate. This is how we can generate balloons by using a balloon generation. This is automatic balloon generation. You can ask one doubt like why it is taking this is only first part and this is only second part. This is only third part that sequence it will come in which sequence you have inserted components into the assembly design while creating this shock assembly first part we have inserted bracket so this only it will show number one and you support we inserted second part so only it will show second part like that in which sequence we have inserted this individual parts into assembly in the same sequence it will be generated here automatically this balloon so i hope you have understood about this balloon generation and how to generate that one more like manual balloon also it will be there so in annotation here balloon will be there let me show you that one option will be there here balloon this is manual balloon generation like we need to 
give the number which number we want we are able to change but if we go here with this automatic balloon generation automatically in which sequence we have inserted parts into assembly in the same sequence it will be created then insert generation here bill of material will be there so first we should know what is meant by bill of material so in detail information if you want you can just refer basic introduction engineering drawing video so in brief i'll explain here uh, bill of material bill of material is nothing but a detailed information about a particular assembly design if it is represented in a tabular column the tabular column we call it as bill of material a detailed information about an assembly design if it is represented in a tabular column the tabular column we call it as bill of material it includes like a part number will be there part name will be there which type of material we have used to manufacture that particular part then again what is the quantity we have used about that particular part into the certain assembly design so everything in detail about an assembly will be there in bill of material now let's generate that so just we can go here with insert generation bill of material we are going with bill of material this we won't use just i'll click on bill of material for this assembly design you can see two tabular columns we have got so here it will show what is the quantity part number whether it is a part or assembly design nomenclature revision like that this format we have got but if you are going or if you are working under like certain companies they will be having their own formats of this bill of material like first serial number part name part number that sequence it will be there so now let's see how to change the sequence of bill of material in cat yeah. let me delete that now we need to change that sequence of bill of material so to change that sequence of bill of material we need to go back to here main assembly design here go with analyze we will get here one option called bill of material so as i told for certain different like individual companies they will be having their own formats that we will be able to see here so here you can get that but here we don't have any default formats so i need to change this format so to change that we need to go here with this define formats then here you can see displayed properties hidden properties these are we are able to display and this all we are able to hidden like i don't want everything here just i will send all this hide all properties this is about second tabular column here also i don't want anything i'll send everything here now in which sequence you want in the same sequence you need to send these options one by one in displayed properties now first what we want first i want here for example part number i want only a single arrow show property then second i want part name so let me go here with this part name name i will send this side after that i need here like i'll make it with nomenclature i will send this side then i need to show here quantity i will send this side then i want here revision i will send this side so up for now i i want only a single tabular column that it should be in this format first it should be part number name nomenclature quantity and revision let me say okay here let's say okay now again i'll go back to here drawing now we will try to generate again insert generation bill of material bill of material just i'll click outside now if you see first we are getting part number name nomenclature quantity revision like that however we want we are able to change this format of the bill of material and if you want to in insert or something or if you want to edit this just you can double click there and you can modify this entire thing like we can insert one more column or if you want we can delete this everything we are able to manage here like ms excel so i hope you have understood about this bill of material so this is about this bill of material but here one drawback in catia is we will be not able to show what is the material we have applied for individual part design directly in bill of material but whereas in solid works 
directly if you go for drafting we will get direct whatever the material we have applied and weight also we will be able to see so that i'll explain in solidworks so but in cad yeah, manually we need to enter if you want that like we can add one more here column like material and we need to type my what is the material we have applied manually like this then one doubt you can get here if i am showing you here in this one we are getting here exploded view assembly view but here i am making with only assembled session now let's see how to make same like this by using window already we know about this exploded view if i make explode okay like this again if i come back to drawing so here we need to update it is showing for update here automatically it is getting exploded but directly if you are going here with this exploded view wherever the parts want there they are going like no uniform direction but what we wanted is however they have shown here in a same way we need to insert so in such conditions directly we can't use this exploded view option so there we can use one option called here is enhanced scenes go for enhanced scenes and one more what is the drawback of this exploded view means now here it got assembled if i go back to drawing and if i make update here again it will come back to assembled view only it means in assembly if it is assembled here also it will show assembly only if it is exploded there here also it will show exploded but what we want is if you are seeing in assembly design it should be assembled one if you are seeing in drawing it should be exploded view so in such conditions directly we can't manage by using this exploded view there we can use one option called enhanced scenes let's see how to use this enhanced scene option just click on this enhanced scene here you are able to see automatic naming if you want give or else we can give manually let's say for example i will give manually explode then like overload mode partially you want or full we want so entire assembly i want i'll make it full let's say okay now you can see we have entered into scenes it means entire background color got changed so i don't want to display this message again just i'll close it now here same one more option also will be having here direct exploded view means however the components want just they will go like that but what we want we need in a proper sequence we need to adjust in which sequence we want so here by using this 3d compass we are able to adjust how we want i will click outside here it is showing in brown color it means no part is selected now just i'll select this castle nut it is showing in green color in which direction you want you can move we you need only vertical direction again this one i'll drag like this click outside again this washer i'll drag down click outside then next here this bolt is there i want that bolt that side i'll make like this click outside then this nut i want this side i'll drag like this like this however we want we are able to manage like this then these two at a time multiple also we can move by holding control like this so in which direction we want we need to specify like this after that if you want to restore this position drag and drop here at this corner red it will go back to the original position after adjusting in which way we want we need to go here with this save view point option just click on this save view point it means just it will be like capturing of one photo in this way so save view point then we'll go here with this exit scenes like this now just i'll go here with this drawing here it is assembled view now i wanted to insert exploded view in which way we have developed in our own style so for that so now let's insert that isometric view so just we'll go here with this directly isometric view 
by using window we will go back to assembly design so directly if we click somewhere here we will get this assembled isometric view but what we want exploded view in which way we have generated for that in specification tree we need to go here with this applications one extra option added here open these applications then here scenes option is created open that scenes under that whatever the name i have given as explode that it is showing so just select that then click on the assembly somewhere like this anywhere we can click after selecting this explode just i'll click somewhere here like this automatically in which way we have generated in the same way this exploded isometric assembled view will be placed into drafting so just let me decrease the size of this then just let's say okay now you can see in our own way we have made if i see here assembly here it is assembled view but in drafting we are having here exploded view like this so again just i'll go for insert generation balloon generation so just you can see again same thing happened why because this is the activated assembly i need to generate balloons for this let me activate by double click on the, in this border line insert generation balloon generation balloons will be generated so just i'll select everything like this then size i will increase you can see balloons will be generated so in this way we can insert this exploded isometric view of an assembly design into drafting so i hope you have understood about this uh, drafting in detail in cad here so if you feel this video is informative please share to your friends to whom it will be useful and please like the video thank you so much